I'm in beautiful Glendale, California, right next to Hollywood. I'm here for the Glendale Toy Show, or the official name, the All-American Collector Show. I've heard lots of good things about this. Toy Show happens twice a year. I'm excited, my first time here. You know, when I come to these shows, conventions, I don't really have a plan. I have a mental list in my head of things that I wanna pick up, but usually I just go rogue and whatever I see that I like, I pick up. So it's right here behind me at the Glendale Civic Auditorium. I'm excited. Guys, come along with me. Hopefully we can find something cool to take home to the collection. And of course, we gotta get them deals. Always gotta get those deals. But one thing for sure, we are gonna see some amazing vintage toys. Let's get this hunt started. This is only the entrance, guys. We're actually about to walk into the actual showroom, as you can see here. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of vintage stuff over here, like stuff that we usually don't come across. Right, we're going to walk around and see what else we find here in the actual big showroom. There's a lot of vintage signs, which are dope as heck. Look at this. $300 for this gasoline sign. Some very, very old stuff here. We got some bobbleheads, cereal bobbleheads. Uh, some vin vintage toys over here. We got, we got Indiana Jones. One of the Beetle. Uh, we got some vintage Star Wars toys here. It's like Lily Letty. These are the ones from Mexico. No, it's okay. I mean, none of us are going to say first. What's your, okay, what's your second favorite? Old school Mickey Mouse plush. Some Kyo Jimbo. It's a cool trash can right there. Well, I don't know. I would think one that I really, I do really like, right? Some very cool Evil Knievel. We got some vinyl stuff. What is check out this crazy Superman? It's like a puppet. It's 50 bucks. Banana splits. Whoa. There's a little thing of Care Bears. 65 for the set. I think we have most of these already. Always good to see Shogun Warriors. And this booth right here looks like they repurposed like sheets, old vintage sheets, and made them into like pillows. It's very cool. Now this one's a very awesome right here. It's really cool. So that because I actually have these sheets right here. Yeah, so they made them into pillows and stuff. It's really cool. Pretty good. Good. Right, yeah. These are all made out of the vintage bed sheets. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was checking out because sure. I have some of these. I was like, I cut it up so you don't. Dude, you can keep your own shoes. Yeah, it's a so, yeah, cool, uh, cool idea. Yeah, they're, they're, I made up little cat toys out of the scraps. Yeah, like, nothing awesome. can go to waste. You got all these old school yeah. tin toys. Here's an awesome set right here. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of good folks yeah. there. More of it down here. More? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got a real coon fried chicken menus. 65 bucks a piece. Mm -hmm. Original ones. Yeah. 65? Uh huh. Never fold it. It's crazy. Just some awesome Americana right here. Oh yeah. Very cool. All down there. Old Pepsi Cola tin. Check that out. Double dot. No. Man. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, here's a awesome looking booth with some vintage toys. Like I said, man, they got stuff here from the 60s, 50s. That one guy had stuff from the 40s. Here's a cool thumb wrestling set. It's Ric Flair and Larry Zbysko. And then some awesome vintage lunch boxes. 
Flintstones. This Target game is amazing. 1962 by Mark's Toys. Bizarre. It's very cool. Those monsters there. $895. We got a whole bunch of amazing vinyl. We got Chipmunks. Pinocchio. Squirrel from Rocky Bull Winkle. Some vintage, old school vintage stuff right here. Hong Kong Foo, you're right there. Check out this lamp. Fred Flintstone lamp. $135. That thing is amazing. Let's see what Man. Check out all these vintage toys. I love all the tin stuff. Wow. That Bedrock Express train is amazing. Cool lamp. A lot of the stuff from the 60s. Cool tin toys. Let's see, we got a little bit more affordable items in here. A bunch of matchbox cars. We got our gang over there. The little rascals. What bucks? A couple of nineties. Power of the four stars figures. California raisins. Back for five bucks. Darth Vader. Patch. <laughs> Alright, we're trying to find some 80s toys. That's what I most collect. But here, what do you got here? Doorman. Got a crash test dummy right here. Oh, a big one, big plush. That's very cool. This Supernaturals. Brand new, 60 bucks, minimum card. Oh, here we got some stars, oh my god. This guy, the 12 inch one, which I am currently collecting. That's all his weapons too. Oh, here we got a Y-Wing fighter. Some more blue figures. Yeah, for sure. Right. We got some Lucy's. Mario header. Right, we got a Boba Fett with all his accessories. Gun. That's crazy. Stone protector. It's a whole Darth Vader collector case full of Star Wars figures. Nothing I need for the collection. There's a movie star. Rav, looks like a bootleg. Some more Beatles bobbleheads. Man, those are incredible. A lot of Beatles merchandise here at this show. Hey, you know, if I don't call you about this thing, so then I will talk later. A bunch of vintage Batman stuff. That was a necklace, a little gun, a suction cup gun. Check out this bat cave right here. Wow. So it looks like it doubles as a case. It's incredible. We got some awesome vintage Star Wars. The Droid Factory right there. 
due back in the box. There's a Falcon back there, Secret Wars. Oh, it is a water world. Oh my gosh, it's lace. Beating detail is so fun. Got the power. A bunch of Pee Wee's Playhouse. Hey, that's the one that Margot Robbie was on. Roger Rabbit. Right. <laughs> they actually just found this one. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, talking Pee Wee. Rest in peace, my man. Rest in peace. I guess so we're actually here. This is Toys of the Universe toy booth. There's Tony back there. We're gonna check out and see what they brought to the show. They always bring the heat. This is the stuff that's right up our alley here on this channel. Check out that Blanca Street Fighter. Silverhawk sunglasses. A little tiny Freddy Krueger doll. Let's see what else we got. Turtles. Is that tail scale? Something like that? Handhelds, old Funko Land, old Mario Brothers belt. <laughs> yeah, here we got a bin full of cool 80s figures. Let's see if there's anything here we don't have. A little stand. Let's see, let's see. Some superpowers. I'm the cats. Oh, you got those now. Oh, Baron Zemo. You need the belt though. Still don't know if I have this guy in storage. Moss Man. There's a slash. For the cups right here. More turtle stuff down here at the bottom. It's one of the squirting turtles. Kaiju stuff here. We got some triple A wrestlers, heavy metal, Rey Mysterio, Perro Aguayo. Some good stuff here. Here's a great old mine right here. There's Jackie Chan, Kung Fu Master. Dope. As we're here with Pristine Art, give him a follow on Instagram. He picked up this sweet Shogun Warriors Rodan in the box. In the box that. with the instructions. This thing is clean. It's insane. Shout out that beautiful box. That that's a grail piece right there. That's a grail pickup right there, guys. Awesome. Yeah, give him a follow. You can get all this stuff. People can buy from you online, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Pristine Art, hit him up. Yeah, <laughs> nice. You heard that here. You're into kaiju. This is the man right here. Anything Japanese. All right, here we have a booth that has all vintage Star Wars. Here we got the Ad Ad. Looks to be complete. You got the guns and everything. And behind it, in this case, you got the complete set of figures, 1979. Original figures, check that out. If you can get behind the ad at, you can see that. That's a 3500 for the set. It's a sweet little display case, too. A uh, Y Wing up there. Sandcrawler. Yeah. 
the Imperial shuttle. Thing is huge. We got the battle wagon, Ewoks battle wagon, Death Star. There's the battle wagon right there. It's a piece you don't see often at toy shows. And then we got Boba Fett. A lot of great stuff here. I love all the vintage tin toys. We have a real tiny collection of tin toys, but it's very cool seeing this stuff. It has a Popeye, Boxer Popeye. Jiminy Cricket vinyl figure, 75 bucks from the 60s. Just some awesome stuff here, like this robot clown on the tricycle. There goes Astro Boy 10. Got some real old school vintage Disney items on it. We're getting to the real vintage stuff, guys. We usually deal in 80s, 90s what I collect mostly but man here we have some old school stuff like Mark's toys from the 60s a whole bunch of cool matchbox cars oh the super van that's pretty amazing take a closer look at that <laughs> this phone booth superman is really cool but that dairy that dairy truck right there Like this thing, Starter Swan. Check out this witch right here. Pink Panther. We got some Christmas items. I did see a booth that had a lot of Christmas items somewhere here. Might have to check it out. Like old school vintage, vintage plush. Like what I like about this show, they have a lot of advertising stuff. Like you see that little Twinkie the Kid over there. Uh, got a Kool Aid Man. Coca Cola Radio is amazing. Iron Giant. We got a whole bunch of California raisins. The big ET buns. Oh, we got some Chun Lee's. Pulsar. Pulsar, you don't see that guy often at all. That's crazy in the box, too. We got some carded turtles. We got a box here of Master of the Universe. Oh, damn. It's nuts. It's pretty rare VHS. Let's see so what we got here. Snout spot. Muck man. Here we got Dennis and Menace. Final. 
65. I was a big fan of the cartoon growing up. Here's a cool hot stuff glass right there. Tiki Industries. A lot of amazing stuff in here. Where the, uh, make that out. Yeah, it says uh, Bob's Men's Shop. Check out this very cool Dracula. 18 bucks. Very cool. Now we got the 7 Eleven cups right here. The Watcher, Conan. These are crazy awesome. It's been a while since I've seen these cups. There's a vision. Peanuts. Looks like a sheet or a curtain of some sort. Mighty Max. Wow, this is cool. Dynamite. Oh man, JJ Walker. How much you asking? 22 bucks. Oh, this is cool. We got a Michael Jackson. 45. With the glove. Charlie Zane. Oh no, it's a bionic woman. Man, these are awesome. The bank. Got some Robocop bubble, uh, bubble baths. Some of my little ponies. Yogi Bear. Gumball. Laurel and Hardy. This cool musketeer typewriter. Wow. Wow. I don't know what that is. It looks like a record. I think it, yeah, it's an L record. It's an LP. Oh, I used to have this guy growing up. Yep, we're from Burger King. Here's Amigo, Spider Man. A boxing ET. Still in the same booth. Now we're checking out the front table where I saw a whole bunch of uh, toys. Here's a Chuck Norris. We got some Star Wars beaters up in here, along with Marvel Toy Biz. Swamp Thing. Dick Tracy. Man Man. Uh, we got some good stuff in here. Some more Dick Tracy. What do we got here? I don't know who this guy is. Anyone know who this guy is? Kind of looks like a G.I. Joe. But what, the cape? A naked splinter. That Herman Monster is a holy grail amongst hard collectors. 1500 bucks. Wow, what the box, too. That's crazy. I've, first time I've ever seen this one in person. There you got the Batman bat shoot. Asking 2K for that one. Vintage Marvel t-shirts. Got the original X-Men, Fantastic Four, Captain America, the Avengers. Nice and this display they have in here is pretty incredible. We're gonna go in and take a closer look. Batman blow mode the figure. That thing has to be at least 15 inches tall. 
a bunch of bad masks with the display. Robin's holy squirt. Yeah, you got the display and all the guns. That's some Batman. Well, the girl Hatem's in here for sure. Check out the next showcase yeah. over here. It's just, here's a big shot of it. Yeah, like Corgi, Batmobile pulling the Batboat. Wow, that box is in pristine condition. 1966 for that Batmobile set. Here we got some Green Hornet. I'm a big fan of Green Hornet, mainly because Bruce Lee playing Kato. 900 bucks for the lunchbox. That thing looks brand new. We got a few tiny dents, but nothing major. There's the thermos right there. You got the mask, Kato and Green Hornet mask. No Hasbro paint set. Superman board game. I actually have that nightlight back home in the collection room. The Wicked Nightlight. Then the Beatles Flip Your Wig board game. Check out that mask. Again, we have an iPhone that was turned in. It's in a black powder case. People losing their iPhones left and right here at the show. That's the second and last minute third for an iPhone lost. And there are these amazing Supermans made out of wood, wooden figures in the 40s. Wow. A lot of vintage toys here. Here we got a Joker mobile from Batman the Animated Series in the box. And then you got an actual Joker back there. Some card turtles over here. I don't know about that price. Let's see. Track. Robotic. He was working when I got him. Robotic Bebop. 150. <laughs> okay. All right. So among all the ten toys, I'll check out this guy right here. He's cool. Oh, man. Those we got. <laughs> like I was saying, among all the ten toys, and really old stuff. You got a couple of 80s stuff here. You got Moss Man. Bona Frog, Napoleon, Bob does some beater figures there. But over here we got Carded Toxic Avenger, Toxy. Wow, mint, unpunched. And behind him you got the Toxic Surf, Surfer, Turf Surfer. Just I love the box. Box art is incredible, amazing stuff. Colors here we got Ultimate Warrior Square Head, Silver Surfer, I'm here at Tom the Toy Collector, his booth right here. 
I've got an awesome 90s figure in there. I'm gonna show you guys at the end of the video, but if you guys wanna buy some toys from him online, here's his info, on eBay right there. I finally made my first purchase. I've gone through the whole show, but I finally made my first purchase there at Tom Toy Collector's booth. Uh, you might know what it is, but I'll show you guys at the end of, the end of the video. I think I got a great deal. Awesome deal. So we're gonna keep on looking. Uh, there's still like a little bit more of the show that I have not seen. There's like toys everywhere. Every like little room they're using here in this auditorium. Anna Barbera items, Lionel figures there. Spider-Man bucket. This caught my attention right here. You got these. I think these were like Happy Meal toys from Wendy's, I believe, or, or Burger King. I'm not sure. Beetlejuice. Very awesome superpowers. Looks like an ad for the VHS. For the show on VHS. California Raisins. Vintage Star Wars. Oh, my God, here's a Holy Grail for me. This is first issue of Ninja Turtles. What print? This is the third printing. 6.0. 750. This is awesome. I have the whole collection of the Turtle comics, but I don't have the first issue I have is, I believe, the fourth printing. Either the fourth or the fifth. That would be at least cool to get the third printing because this is the original cover art. The one I have, after the third printing, they changed the cover. Different cover. Oh, wow. Here are the loose Star Wars figures. Nah. <laughs> Batman helmet, Count Chocula, the, the wacky wobbler. Uh, this cool spot phone is amazing. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. We got some toy biz and then superpowers. Penguin, forty dollars. The card is pretty, pretty beat. What is this? Okay, so it's like an opening up here. But he's complete. Wow. It's a little discolored. We've got some rub there. Check this out. Pencil toppers. Eraser. You gotta get the you gotta get the whole set for school, right? Cool seven up, Pepsi, Coke, signs, those things are amazing. Dr. Pepper down at the end. Amazing. So we checked out the whole show already. I am out of the Glendale toy show. This place was awesome. That was a great show. I found some, I think for myself, some girl pieces. These are awesome items I picked up. It was a cool show. Definitely, I suggest you guys make it out here. It happens twice a year in January and August. I'll definitely try to come back for the January show. Time to drive on back home to San Diego. And when I get back to the toy room, I'll show you guys my pickups. After these messages, we'll be right back. I had a great time at the Glendale show, otherwise known as the All-American Collector Show. That's the official name. 
they have it twice a year january and august so i'm definitely gonna try to be back in january it was great i loved seeing all the really old stuff from before the 80s that bunch of 50s and 60s toys and a whole bunch of tin cars tin toys advertisement signs from all the different decades it was crazy it was just cool seeing so much stuff that i do not see at other toy shows or conventions it was crazy there's a lot of old timers there uh, definitely guys who have been in the collecting game for a long time uh, so yeah it was cool i got to talk to a lot of vendors and it was fun uh, tony from toys leaders was there they had a booth with pristine art as well give them a follow on instagram and check out toys of the universe a awesome store uh, but definitely check them out pristine art has some crazy uh, kaiju japanese vinyl toys and you saw there in the video he picked up an amazing shogun warriors rodan in the box never put together it was just open, brand new, insane, insane deal he got. He's definitely a steely, as he says. And Israel from INS Vintage Toys was also there. Uh, they had the cool store in Sun in LA in the Sunset Boulevard. Uh, that's cool uh, store. Uh, recently, uh, Quentin Tarantino paid them a visit, which is awesome. That's just from being there in LA on Sunset. Uh, he was there, set up Toy Fury was there as well uh, check him out on instagram and maybe buy some toys off him uh, i did buy something from him which i'll get to here in a minute but again the glendale toy show was an awesome show definitely uh, i recommend you guys check it out if you live in the area or come visit when i was at comic con san diego comic con i won a raffle to meet todd mcfarland get an autograph from him you had to bring your own item this is this action figure was the one I was looking forward to, to get signed, but nobody nobody had it for sale. So I ended up getting the Amazing Spider-Man comic, which is cool too. But uh, I really would have liked to have this signed. The very first McFarlane toy, the Spawn, Series 1 Spawn, the original Spawn. So I got this from Toy Fury, hooked it up with a good price. He, has, he also had a whole bunch of other uh, Spawn stuff. I, think, I believe he had this whole series if i'm not mistaken but yeah he had some cool toys at his booth and uh yeah he definitely uh hooked it up on this one right here so definitely give toy fury a follow these next few items i got from the same seller an older gentleman in the far back of the auditorium had this as a set and it was just the deal was too good to pass up i uh, talked him down to the price he had with that said, always try to hack with guys because you never know. Uh, but yeah, I've been getting into Toxic Crusaders. I got a lot last year of 80s and 90s toys and had a Toxie in there. And then one of the army builders, guys with a gas mask, was cool. But when I saw this at the table, I immediately had to get a closer look. <laughs> and I got it, guys. I got Toxie from the Toxic Crusaders. Men on card. He is unpunched as well. Just check out this cart art. It's amazing. It definitely caught my attention at the booth. Here's the back of it. Uh, it's awesome. And uh, yeah, so I was actually going to try to see how much this was. And the guy said it was a bundled deal because he couldn't sell the figure without his vehicle. And I did. I got the Toxic Turf Surfer. Minute boxes is sealed. Has not been opened. This is insane. I mean, I love the artwork on these boxes. This is awesome. This is insane. I can't believe I got this. This was at one point, it was $8 at Toys R Us. This displays beautifully. Uh, I don't know, guys. I might have to open this one of these days. What? Uh, it's one thing to keep like a card a figure on card because you can still see the figure and everything so it looks cool displayed but when it comes at least in, in my brain when it comes to these vehicles there's no window packaging so you can technically open it up and just close the box back up right and it's still uh it's kind of the box is still mint and then you got a mint 
vehicle. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, so maybe one day in the future, I might open it up. You guys might think I'm crazy. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. What would you do? Oh, and before I forget, <laughs> the guy hooked me up with this little this little devil guy. Because I asked him about it and he... I think he had it for 10 bucks and he just said I could have it. So that was cool. That was cool of him. It's just like like a little dashboard guy. It moves with the, with the solar power. A little solar panel in the back. But this is awesome. I just thought he looked pretty cool and sitting on some, some flames. So this is awesome. This is definitely the guy that's on the shoulder telling me, buy the toys, buy the toys, right? <laughs> the final purchase for me at the... Glendo Toy Show, uh, it was something that was on my mind ever since I saw it earlier on when I was walking through the show. And before I left, I'm like, hey, let me go back to the booth, see if the guy still has it for sale. Maybe I can haggle and bring him down in price, which he did, which was awesome because besides, it's a Star Wars, finished Star Wars. So besides the last 17 figures that I'm missing, this is my most wanted Star Wars item, and it is a playset. And I'm talking about the Death Star playset. Impressive. And it's a box. Check this thing out, guys. Most impressive. I got it. I finally got one. This guy was selling off his personal collection, and you saw in the video uh, everything he had there for sale. He also had like a whole bunch of the figures. A complete set of figures besides the last 17. He had the Ewoks Battle Wagon. And this is also from he's not like a seller. He's just set up selling off his like doubles of toys and vehicles he has because whenever he upgrades to, uh for the ones he has, he'll sell off the other one. So he actually told me this was his. The reason why he's selling this because he recently bought a sealed one. So check out how great this box is. We'll get a closer look here. Uh, but it is complete. Everything is inside. We took it out and inspected it. It's complete. The panels are all there. The Dianoga monster's there. The rope is there. What else? No tabs are broken. Everything is great. The plastic, everything is perfect on it. Um, it has the original trash, foam trash. It's in a Ziploc bag, so it's still there. And what else? The instructions are there. Even some of the stickers are still on the sticker sheet. Not all. All the stickers have not been applied. So that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad I finally have this collection. I've been really wanting this one. My top, besides those last finished figures, I'm missing this is my top piece. So I'm thinking about doing a video in the future on a whole video dedicated to this Death Star playset. Uh, putting it together, applying the last few stickers that are still on the sticker sheet. And yeah, just building it, man. I think it's going to be fun. If you guys are interested in me making a video all about this playset right here, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, it's hard to choose what my favorite pickup of the day was, but I think the Death Star definitely, definitely wins it. Uh, but that's going to do it for the video today. Let me know what you guys thought of the Glendale Toy Show, the All-American Collector Show. It was great. I'll definitely be back next year. Uh, leave me in the comments down below. Did you go to the Toy Show? Are you planning on going next time? Let me know what you saw in the video that you would have picked up. There was so much cool stuff. But thanks again, everybody, for watching. Leave those comments down below. I'll get back to all of you guys. And hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. So, Kyle Shalin, I am out.